What is it, Ruby? Do we need to check? Okay, we'll get the Brinksel. Get the Brinksel, Ruby. Let's check. While most three-year-olds fear the prick of a needle, Faith Wilson does it herself. She knows no different. She goes through this drill around 30 times a day to keep her type 1 diabetes in check. Good job. By her side is Ruby, a dog more like a doctor. Good hi, Rub. Good hi. Ruby's job is to sense a change in Faith's scent before her blood sugar levels plummet or skyrocket. She then uses this bringsel to alert mom Sarah, who used to get up every two hours to test her daughter's levels. Um, if I wake up and wonder, I look around, and if Ruby's not in my room, I go back to sleep because I know that Ruby's on the case. Now, Ruby will alert Faith's mom to a problem, sometimes up to 45 minutes in advance. What's more amazing, Ruby doesn't even have to be sitting right next to Faith. She can be in the next room, sometimes even in the next Me. house. There she is, ready Me. to alert. Me. Here. Sure enough, for the fourth time in one hour, Faith's blood sugar levels were too high. With that, her mom administers insulin using this device connected to an IV on her leg. She wouldn't be here if it weren't for Ruby. Ruby has saved her life a hundred times. Without the Diabetes Friendly Foundation, the Wilsons couldn't afford Ruby. She cost $10,000. Charity members say seeing this work motivates. Reacting um, and acknowledging the highs and the lows, um, it makes your hair stand up. I mean, it really does. Faith got Ruby at 18 months old, making her the youngest diabetic to do so. Her case was a test trial, one with promise. It had never been done. They didn't know how exactly it would work out with a baby, um, you know, because they have all the extra smells that, you know, an older child wouldn't have with wearing diapers and drooling on themselves. It is rare and it is new, and so it's something that's uh, still kind of